I was uh, all South Jersey in football and actually uh, was the interview with the Eagles at the time. But uh, well, we decided to go the other way because I had an injury and baseball would be better. Chuck was a third baseman and he was really a good ball player. And Chuck uh, was a, a tough guy. When I was in high school, Jocko Collins would come around and take a look at me, but unbeknownst to me, so he was up front, you know, he, he said, what I want you to do. First, he told me to cut my mustache off. <laughs> and then he wanted to speak to my parents uh, when I was in school and let him know that we, he wanted to sign me. And my parents, of course, said yes, it was okay. I just thought I'll give it my best shot. And uh, that's what I did. It was like overnight, it seemed, <laughs> that, I, that they got me up there and uh, the usual things that they teach you, you know, how to slide, how to, you know, double plays and uh, how to field and get in front of the ball and things and, you know, the fundamentals they were going through. I would say he was the most personable guy on the team. Maybe you could have called him a leader of the team. He liked everybody and everybody liked him. Chuck kind of took me under his wing because I was 19 years old and I was looking for some older guys, you know, to kind of keep me straight in terms of what I needed to do. For average, my first year was the best. If I hit like, I don't know, 350-something, I, uh, I thought that was my best year. He could hit anybody, left-handers or right-handers, and, and he hit them hard. He didn't hit little Texas League singles and fluke hits, but I, I can always remember all these years later Chuck could just smoke line drives to left field, center field, right field. Uh, my best asset was a hitter. I could always hit, just a natural hitter. <laughs> Some people have it that way, I guess, and others struggle with it, but it was never a struggle with me. Scott Shaw and uh, Dickinson, Logan, and myself, we were called Murder's Row, right? Mm -hmm. The newspaper, Al Drattel, was a writer in those days. I must have, I don't even remember. Hey, you know, I'm 90 years old, is this something I remember? Yeah, I did have 19 home runs. I had gotten injured, I would have had more. No, we did pretty well, I would think. My wife and I used to have the three guys to our house for dinner every once in a while people would look, you know, neighbors. And they had to deal with a lot of this stuff. Yeah, but it wasn't all bad. Just certain ones, certain stadiums and things like that. In fact, um, when we were in, in Illinois, uh, we had to spend the night somewhere, the players, and there was a motel. So they spent the night, we spent the night there, but they shoved us, <laughs> Logan and myself, in, in this room and told us not to come out. And uh, the fellas brought us food there and finished our journey, but I never forgot that. And then I had another experience when I was in the Carolina League, uh, and a couple people in the stands say, boy, what, what ship did you come over on? Uh, uh, alligator bait? I do remember we stopped one night in a, at a restaurant. We traveled in like uh, station wagons, uh, vans, whatever you want to call them. That's how we traveled. And we, all, we went in and they made them leave and we had ordered food and we all left. We weren't gonna eat without them because they were our friends and our teammates. And, and we left, we didn't pay a bill, we didn't do anything. We just got back in the cars and we left. But yeah, they were pioneers, the three of them. In a way they were, I mean, certainly in Mattoon they were. There were never, it was never a, a black player before them. But yeah, I, I guess they really were. My favorite year, profit. Because the people seemed so genuine. Seemed so genuine. It didn't overdo it, you know? They were just nice. I, I will tell you an experience I had. My family came up to see me play in Bradford my first year, and that's that year I really hit well. The night they came, I didn't get a hit. <laughs> I didn't get a hit, so they told me to keep your family away, you know? <laughs> he was he was really a gentleman. I have never forgotten with his smile how he was. Everyone really, really loved him. If you met Chuck, you wouldn't forget him. He was just a really, really nice guy. That's my favorite photo. 
of me as I am, as I see myself. 